76ers honor local Olympians as the year-long salute to the spirit of the champion continues. Tonight, going against one of the best big men in the NBA today in the Miami Heat's Hassan Whiteside. Sixers fans hoping to see their team win a fourth straight here at Wells Fargo Center. We'll have it for you tonight on CSN as the Sixers take on the Miami Heat. And then Occupy Whiteside, when he's on defense, you talked about his prowess crashing the boards, Mark. Occupy him so he's not a free roamer and blocking other people's shots. Tasty matchup between these two bigs. Whiteside, a guy who's coming into his own while Joel's still trying to find his way, Mark. Waiters. If Bayless would warm up, hopefully feel good enough to suit up, and he is. It's of action, a sixer victory, their third straight here at home. Bounds in their last game, the opener of a four-game road trip for them. That was in Washington. Ninth year, only Greg Popovich with San Antonio has been with a team longer. Always interesting to see how guys handle coming back home. It's not always a given that you're going to play well back home as Gerald knocks down the brick. Rodriguez has Henderson. One more to Ilya Soba. That, my friend, here. Covington among the NBA leaders in steals almost had one. Whiteside, an excellent offensive rebound, is fouled. It'll count to his always on the move. That would be Dragic. We've seen Robert at his best where he's playing the passing lanes, getting steals, knocking down threes. Okay, come back. To the NBA, that is actually was the second pick of the draft. Crushed us that game. Still stings at 33, I believe. He's subtle. I mean, it, it, it did stop. That's two guys going for the ball, I thought. I agree. And Williams wound up with it anyway. There's now trailing by seven. Stauskas, it is for three. And down it goes. Taken by Chris Bosch. One story with him about his blood clots is Joe. Huge advantage, 10 to 8 mark, and Whiteside has three offensive boards. Embiid working over Whiteside. Sixers now trailing by two. Into the game for the first time, a rookie, Rodney. Yes, sir. Jaleel Okafor into the contest. Testing and having his way. Anderson out playing at the small forward spot. As Nick Stauskas is in there. Ilya Sova, wow. All Rodriguez has James Johnson on a switch. Did he call it? Games, but you're hearing about him. The legend becomes larger than life, and when he signed in Philly, it was just it was surreal. Embiid. Now he's going to deal with Whiteside, who is back in the picture, and Whiteside promptly. You see that, especially with Joel fading away on a jumper. Pretty impressive by Whiteside. Whiteside, as Embiid was patrolling. Lebanon, but it's a far cry from the NBA. So for him to not last there really speaks to volumes as to his progression. Embiid nice. thinking three, rolling in and getting two, and has Waiters feeling rejected. And there's Embiid tumbling along with Magruder. A break now for Miami. It's Waiters against Henderson, and he's able to finish the job. He misses the three. Sixers would have to get a shot off quickly to get two possessions for one, and they may here with Okafor. They do, and he'll go to the line looking for one more. Keeping the ball back for offensive rebounds, whether it be Robert or Jaleel. Good move. Wow. Williams. Good block out from Irsan as well. Whiteside draped all over his back. Oh, a gorgeous look and largest lead at six. Ilya Sova dealing with Waiters, cannot do so. Spots the double team from Waiters. Ilya Sova, somewhat out of rhythm, does hit the three. Turned it over, consecutive turnovers for the Sixers. Dragic dissuaded, Williams for three. That long range when he was at Arizona, but he's really worked on that jumper, taking it out to the line. Oh, speaking of long range, launching and missing the three. And his issues continue 0 for 4 from beyond, 2 for 11 overall. Six games where he's been on fire. Okafor against Whiteside. Stauskas for 3, and a foul! 
Had a respectable two and three on the road, including their victory in their last game Saturday in Washington. White side at a foul. Boy, if he catches it. Whiteside makes it a one-point game. He's got 23. Bayless all the way to the cup for his first sixer point. After playing seven minutes in the first half, but he's back out there for the second half. And again, Whiteside just a step from the left wrist, rebounding the miss by Waiters. All good guards get those long rebounds that are from the foul line in that help your team out. All caught for a So again, a double-figure rebounder in every game so far this year. Okafor may have been fouled by Whiteside. Play continues. Figures with 11, including the last six for his team, and they lead by four. Towards some contact before he got it up to the glass, too. Dragic has a little more than a minute to run. And B trying to deal with Johnson and James Johnson. Learn that technique. He stays in Manhattan. Manhattan, Kansas, that is. That is right. Kansas State. Joel Embiid. Works the unenviable task of dealing with Embiid with Whiteside on the bench. For the season high 28. There's James Johnson. We met. So the little Okafor for him. McConnell all the way to the cup. The Sixers right now, Mark, you've got to when a shot goes up. Go find your man. Don't turn to the basket and try to out jump your man. Go put a body on him. Covington off the miss by McRoberts. Good look. Henderson. A look at a three, and down it goes for Gerald Henderson. 18 offensive rebounds for the Heat. A lot of them are actually getting to the floor first. Floorboards is. Okafor, got it. Jaleel Okafor. Dragic, need a rebound. Boy, with Whiteside there. And Henderson giving it up. Covington for three. Yes! That's why he's been able to play through his struggles. That's why Brett Brown hasn't given up on him. As McConnell missed. Dragic with Embiid on control. McConnell trying to tie him up and they say a foul. Dragic, again Embiid on control. Three on the way from Waiters, it's heavy. Need a rebound, of course it is Whiteside. And Embiid gathers it in for the Sixers. Some are rising at Wells Fargo Center. Embiid thinking three. Giving it up. Henderson for three. And we had a whistle. They were the foul to give. They run it for Richardson, who hasn't been shot all night. How about that? Wow, what a rebound. And Johnson is hurt. In the meantime, Dragic missing. Tracked down by Embiid. Johnson is still hurt. Miami, they have at least two reasons to take a foul here. Again, nine-point margin here. It's okay if they score. Do not stop the clock at all costs. You get five seconds to throw it in, and he violated the rule. Again, move bodies, move the ball. They get it to MB, the good free throw shooter, and he's promptly fouled by Tyler Johnson. Well, in the life of Joel Embiid and Sixers fans, all of this is looming large. And the Sixers are going to put this one away. Pull it back out. Little by little, the Sixers. Tonight, they're going to win two straight for the first time in two seasons. Ilyasova for three. March of 2015, four straight at home for the first time since February of 2015. They'll break a five-game losing streak against Miami, and they will win it with a terrific effort defensively here in the final quarter. The final score, despite the career-high 32 for that man.